I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll discuss open top square based prism. The question here is find dimensions and volume of open top prism with maximum volume that can have surface area of a meter square. Now this kind of question has huge importance in real life applications. Always we want to have minimum surface area as that leads to cost of packaging and maximize volume so that we can package most in one packet, right? So that is a huge application. Now let us see how to relate these two things. So let me first sketch open top prism, which is square base. So let's say that this is the base of the prism. The sides length and width are x units each and height is y, right? So that's the height, which is y for us. Okay, so that's the rectangular base prism. And now let me write down the dimensions as x, x, and y. And this is open top, right? So we are concentrating on open top prism, right? So that is the open top prism. We are given surface area, which is a meter square. So that's the surface area, a meter square. So as you see from this figure, we have five surfaces since the top is open, right? So surface area, let me write down, area is equals to base area plus four sides, right? So that is the surface area and area of the base is x square, x times x. And uh, this area is x times y. So I know we are given surface area of a meter square. So we'll write a for surface area and base is x times x, which is x square plus four times side. Side area is x times y, so four x y, right? So that is how we can relate these two variables with the area. So they are, we are considering five sides, one, two, three, four, and the base. Now you can rearrange this formula to find y in terms of x. So we have a minus x square equals to 4xy or a minus x square divided by 4x equals to y. So with this relation, we have related x and y. Let me call this, we started with this equation and let's say this is equation number two, the relation. Now what is the volume? Volume is equals to area of the base into height which in this case will be x square times height is y. y can be written in terms of x, so we get x square and here we have a minus x square over 4x. Now we can actually uh, rearrange this, so we get a over 4x times x square minus x to the power of 4 over 4x, correct? And this could be simplified. We could write this as a over 4, which is a constant x minus, this is x cubed over 4, correct? Now, this particular equation is in x, and we have related volume with side x. We'll call this relation as equation 3. So till now you have seen how we have related side of this prism with volume and also we have related the two variables x and y. Now the question is to maximize volume. Right? So let's look into maximum volume. Now when we say maximum volume, we really want to say that rate of change of volume with the side x that could vary to figure out which shape will give us uh, the maximum volume so that should be zero that's the criteria right so we'll begin with the volume expression which we have which is a over 4x 
minus x cubed over 4 and find its derivative with respect to x. So dv dx, we'll write this v dash x equals to a over 4. Since x is a constant, this gives us 3x squared over 4. And that should be 0. So 0 equals to a over 4 minus 3x squared over 4. So that is possible if 3x squared over 4 is equals to a over 4, right? So we can write x squared equals to a over 3, right? So that is very important to understand. x squared is base area. So this actually uh, is a very important relation which we have derived for open top prism that the base area is total surface area is one third, correct? So one third of base area. So that's important, x squared. And of course, we can also write down what x is. x is equals to square root of a over square root of 3, right? I'm not rationalizing it here, but I'll just keep it like this. But this relation, I want to write this as, uh, let's say, equation 4. And this is 5 for us. So what we say here is that the base area is one-third of surface area. We're talking about open top, right? So if the top is closed, in that case we found that the base area was one-sixth, or because six surfaces, right? Uh, but in this case, base area is one third right so half of uh, what we had in the normal case so we are looking for a wider base in this case does it make sense to you okay now since we know what x is we can always find what y is so y which is equal to a minus x square let me rewrite a minus x square over 4x and then i'll substitute x square as a over 3 so we have a minus a over 3 over 4 and this is all right square root of a over square root of 3 right now uh, let me just rearrange all this okay so first we'll take common denominators we have 3a minus a over square root uh, i mean 3 divided by this term which is 4 square root a over square root 3 correct so this is 2a over 3, correct? So I'm writing this as 2a over 3 times, we'll flip this, square root 3 over 4 square root a, perfect. So this square root 3 and this 3, you'll get square root 3 in the denominator, a and a will give you square root a, and 2 into 4, I mean divide, so you get half. So I can write this as half square root a, over square root 3 does it make sense to you right so this simplifies to this let me call this as my equation 6 okay let me write y here so what do you see how x and y are related right so from here if you relate x and y we know y is half of x do you see that y is half of x and that is again a very very important conclusion for open top it's kind of important to understand the condition since there are so many examples based on this that we should really know it so that we can uh, at times get answers to multiple choice questions immediately right so so what we figured out here is that the y is half of x right and also we found that x is square root of one third of the whole area so these are the two things which we have found in this and i hope that will help you to solve many many questions let us also calculate the volume of this sphere so i didn't leave much room here for calculating volume let me add that up okay so volume is right here x squared times y we'll use this formula correct so so volume, let me squeeze in in a different ink right here. So volume is equals to x squared, x squared is a over 3, a over 3 times y, which is square root of a over 3. Is that okay? 
So the volume can be written as A over 3 to the power of 1 plus half, that is 3 by 2. So the volume is one third of the surface area and the power is 3 over 2. So that will be our equation number 8, right? So with this, uh, we have all the relations. We know that the dimensions will be square root of A, I mean X and Y, let me write down, will be square root of uh, A over 3 and Y is going to be half of square root of A over 3 and uh, and volume will be and volume will be a over 3 to the power of uh, did I miss something I think I did y is half of x so I missed half here okay let me write half here I'm sorry volume is half of I mean half of this to the power of 3 by 2 3 by 2 good time to check this since you know y is half of x right so I missed half so that is how we can get all the relations right so so let me rewrite volume is equals to half of a over 3 to the power of 3 by 2 okay and x is equals to square root of a over 3 and y is half of square root of a over 3 so you also see that the height will be half of that of length or width of the base so this is very important conclusion i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best